Hey everybody, welcome back to Drink Like a Fish. Ugh, that sounded so cheesy. Hey guys, welcome to Drink Like a Fish. Yeah, yeah. Low leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow. Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Drink Like a Fish. I'm your host, Brian Big Fish Raglan, and I know it's been a while. It's been, it's been a while. Um, I'm on the road right now. I'm in Baltimore. I'm in sunny Baltimore. Uh, it's nice and cold and rainy today. And uh, I was cruising around. I saw a bottle shop. I figured, you know, let me stop in. Let me see what they have. And they had some really good stuff. I mean, a lot of good stuff from uh, Dogfish Head, a lot of local stuff. Um, some of the stuff I've had before. And I was like, oh, that's cool. That's a good standby. Let me try this. Let me try that. And then something popped out uh, that wasn't really the norm. That's something I can't normally get that is kind of a bucket list beer for me. Um, Every time I post something about pumpkin beers, every time I hear something about pumpkin beers, um, my personal favorite is Southern Tier. I, I know there's some people out there that like it, don't like it. Uh, the one thing I don't like about uh, pumpkin beers right now is it's coming out, in my opinion, way too early. It's coming out, I'm like, damn, I think it came out uh, maybe August of this year, uh, maybe even July, end of July, something like that, which I think is way too soon. Too soon? <laughs> Uh, but this beer is something that I've been looking for, uh, possibly doing trades, and I actually found it in the beer shop. So how cool is that? Um, I've never had it. People swear by it. Usually, it's it's either um, it's either this or Southern Tier. And there's like a, a kind of like people are like, oh, I'm into Coke, oh, I'm into Pepsi. Uh, people are either I'm way into Schlafly or I'm way into Southern Tier. So I'm really stoked to be able to try this. Um, like I said, it's kind of one of those bucket list beers that I've heard a ton about. I haven't had it. I'm looking forward to popping the top on this and giving my thoughts. So unlike Double D, I do come prepared on the road with a bottle opener. I, I sat down and I started trying to film this, and then I realized that I, I don't have a bottle opener. Um... Just like Double D, uh, I didn't travel with a glass, so I get the customary standard Best Western Plastic. Uh, I'm an adult. Let's go ahead and pour this plastic thimble up with some beer. Um, yeah, so uh, it, a typical pumpkin beer color. Um, Auburn. Um, nice foamy head on there. God, it smells a lot like... Um, cinnamon nutmeg pie crust really really similar to the southern tier uh, scent wise anyway um, a lot of cinnamon on that almost like that like fireball sweet sort of sticky cinnamon scent so let's uh, let's get the taste that's really rich um, tons of nutmeg, tons of cinnamon, tons of that pie crust flavor. Really, really similar to uh, Southern Tier. Good malt flavor across. Favor? Do me a favor. Good malt backbone to it. Um, the the there's something off in the taste now. Granted, again, this it, it may be the plastic, and it's it's not really the right right receptacle for this. Um, it's good. I think at this point, I'm kind of over pumpkin beers. Um, I kind of did a run for a while where. Uh, every time Southern Tier came out, I was I was like jumping all over it as mine two or three. Uh, I did notice, at least in my opinion, that pumpkin beers really don't age very well. I don't know how old this is. Uh, I let's see. Well, eight eighteen, yeah, eight eighteen, two thousand five. False. Um, so I don't know. It's been out a while. Uh, it's it's a pretty penny up here too. Uh, I got this one for fifteen bucks. Six packs were selling for twenty. Um, I know it's really hard to get this um, anyway, but I don't know. I think fresh, this would be 
um, right up there, southern tier, pretty badass. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. That this is you know two months old or so. So um, again, I don't think the pumpkin flavors last very well, but it's good. It's really good. I, I think um, maybe not. I, I don't know if it's not worth the hype. I don't, I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. Um, it's right up there with Southern Tier. So I think probably Southern Tier is more readily available. So that's why it, this kind of has more uh, of a lure to it and more of like, oh, man, you got to get Shalafli because it's really hard to get. Kind of like a Westie 12. So I, I don't know, man. I, I dig it. I think it's good. I mean, again, you you taste a ton of the cinnamon nut, nutmeg, a uh, bit of the cloves in there as well. Not a ton of pumpkin. Like, I... I I think maybe I'm just, my senses are dead to pumpkin at this point, but um, not a ton of pumpkin, uh, a good amount. I would say um, right right up there with Southern Tier, but for me, I think Southern Tier just edges it out a little bit, um, and that's just my personal preference, uh, but I, I would say this is a really, really, really close second. Um, and depending on which way the wind blows, maybe maybe a first for me if I have this one straight off the shelf, you know, if it's only a few weeks old or something like that. So anyway, uh, if you can find it, get it. Um, but honestly, and, and here's the other thing for the price, I don't think it, it merits the, um, the price tag that it has. Because it's so close to Southern Tier, if you can get Southern Tier for like eight, eight, nine bucks, and this one was going for like 15 or 20 I'd say Southern Tier, and um, you're not really missing a whole lot. So, again, it's really, really good, um, but uh, it's really, really good. And if you've had this, if you tried this, let, you know, hit me back. Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, we'll put our little Twitter thing right there. We have Facebook also. You can go to our website. Um, interact with us. Let us know what you think. I know there's a couple people out there that are going to be like, this is bullshit, man. Shalafli's the best ever. Uh, I will say that Shalafli is a lot more fun to say than Southern Tier, but uh, again, my, in my humble opinion, I think Southern Tier is a little bit better. This is still a damn good brew, though. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, we're gonna have more reviews coming soon. I really appreciate it. So uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Is it, is it here like this? Okay. This is weird without double D. It's kind of weird just me sitting here talking to myself too. I'll just keep drinking and it won't be as weird.